everyone. Uh, this is Kevin Yao from uh, Right Eye Networks, a uh, member of Kobo. So for today, I'm going to introduce Right Eye's you know, uh, investment on both MPO and the CPO projects. So I'm going to talk about the roadmap a little bit and also introduce a few demos we made for uh, Kobo, ORF, and other customers. So let's get started. Okay, so the first page, I'm going to uh, introduce a little bit on the MPO and the CPO projects roadmap. From the map, you can see we invest both on the MPO side and the CPO side. For the MPO, actually, we have two generations projects. The first is the 25T uh, functional POC we made for COBOL, which was released uh, during last year OCP Global Summit. And the second generation is about a 51T, which is a mechanical demo. We uh, worked with OIF, uh, CPO working group members, for example, um, Broadcom, Intel, and others. So we made this uh, mechanical demo and exhibited on OFC 2022, which is a few months ago. And from the CPO side, we just announced a working demo for uh, Tencent. We work with Broadcom on this uh, CPO projects. It's a 25, uh, 25T uh, functional box. And in the future, we are also planning to do more you know, uh, projects on the MPO and CPO. MPO side, we are going to do a functional 51T with uh, air cooling and uh, another uh, you know, uh, technology called uh, cold plate liquid cooling. On the CPO side, we are going to do a functional demo on the 51T as well with the one IU and the cold plate liquid cooling. So um, for the first project we did for COBO, which is the 25T MPO uh, POC. So it's a one IU box, which can easily you know, be fit into uh, any racks. And for this demo, we, we used you know, the 25T switch ASIC with you know, the 112G service. And around the switch ASIC, there are 16 pieces of uh, DR4 MPO optical engine or modules, you know. So on the front panel, we support like a, uh, 64 uh, 400G, you know, uh, optical connectors at the front panel. And for all the uh, uh, fibers, we have ribbon uh, fibers without a middle connector. Uh, and uh, for this product, we also need a, a ELS, which is, which is external laser source with pigtail. We support AFDM, uh, QSFPDD form factor. And uh, uh, in order to have the one IU box, you know, we have designed this cold plate uh, cooling with non-conductive coolant, which is perfectly used for this uh, kind of box. Uh, inside the box, we also support the Intel CPU, which can be an optional uh, BMC software. And uh, for the uh, fan module, we have three plus one redundancy. And uh, from, from the power supply point of view, we have one plus one redundancy as well. So this box has been made for COBOL and we exhibited on the OSP uh, last year. For the 51T MPO prototype uh, for the OIF, uh, actually it's a, a non-functional uh, mechanical demo. So it, it was exhibited on OFC this year and uh, we have a plan to do a functional demo for with the OIF you know, CPO working group members in uh, next year. Uh, for this mechanical uh, prototype, we have the one IU as well. And uh, for, the uh, for the first time, we use a modularized design for the CPO assembly. So which means we have the switch ASIC, the 51T, uh, sitting together with uh, sitting around you know, the uh, optical engine modules, uh, 3.2T, 16 piece of it. So those are integrated in a single you know, module. And for the front panel, we support a 64 of 800G, you know, optical connector front panel. And uh, similar as last generation, so we need, uh, you know, the ESFP, the external laser source module. So we need a 16 of them uh, with a blind, uh, blind made connectors connection. Uh, also for this one, we also support a cold plate a liquid cooling. And uh, uh, similar, you know, Intel CPU for the optional BMC. And from the fan point of view, it's also 3, point, uh, 3 plus 1 redundancy and the 1 plus 1 redundancy for the power supply as well. Uh, for this prototype, it attracts a lot of attention during the OFC. 
it receives a lot of feedbacks and suggestions you know, for the design. And then the last one I'm going to introduce is the new product we just announced you know, uh, two weeks ago, so which is the 25T uh, CPO for uh, Tencent, the end customer. So it's a 2IU design with a very high efficiency air cooling. Uh, for this one, actually, it supports half you know, electrical uh, interface and another half is optical uh, interface. For the CPO engine to the front panel, the fiber routing, so it supports both the traditional fiber and also the we call the uh, flexible print fiber solution. So a uh, customer can, uh, uh, can choose it uh, you know, freely. Uh, from the system design point, we also are compatible to support uh, multiple, uh, we call the remote laser modules, uh, which can supply you know, the, the laser you know, uh, source to the, to the uh, CPO. Um, for this product, the, one of the highlights is, you know, it can save more than 50% of the optical uh, interconnected power consumption, you know, compared to the traditional pluggable optical solutions. And the list box was just released, you know, for the customer attention. So it's uh, production ready for uh, all, all other customers for the data center deployment. So basically that's all we did so far for uh, different organizations for different customers. And by the way, for this coming uh, ECOC, so we have a demo uh, working together with Synco and Optech. So uh, it will be uh, exhibited on the, uh, uh, on the uh, Kobo uh, booth. So uh, please uh, stop by and welcome to uh, uh, look at you know, the demos. And uh, you know, if there's any questions, please let me know so we can uh, support you guys. Thanks very much.